There are some sins in the world that are unforgivable. In Harry Potter's world, we learned that the unforgivable curse was cursing something to death, morte, or something like that. But the reality is that people do wish other people dead all the time. They wish them dead so they can take their property, they can take their land, they can take their house, they can take their things, they can take their life, they can take their wife. And a man did that to me. He openly was so jealous of me that he thought he'd steal my intellectual property, despite federal law that protects my rights to my copywritten work and my copywritten work. The liars of America like to play things, like to do things, like to say things, like to be things, and they're not anything to us in any way. The liars of America like to play as if they're military when they're not in any way. I have never professed to be military. I have never said that I am. What I have said in every way is the next time you aggress against me, the next time you steal from me, the next time you do something to me violating the law, you might just get caught because eventually we might have a national military force that replaces the police force because the mother of all America will go to the various uh, internment groups, and I forget what they're called, they're not bases, I apologize, my Air Force training is lost, but basically bases and start to pick the best of the best in the military to come to be in her stead. And what we do then is we start to rebuild the education for the police force that will be called something else entirely. Possibly even my consulting group for Global Operation Defense, in which my job is to point to the shitbags of a community that will rise up in 5 to 10 to 15 years to destroy the American continent. If we don't tap them now, if we don't remove them now, if we don't stop them now, what will become of America will not be anything like what the last part of America, the best part of America, could ever be. And openly, a guy like me can walk in and out of a city because God will say, you're going to need that tea. You're going to need those type of clothes. But someone stole my clothes when I was in jail. Someone stole everything I owned from the jail. And isn't it interesting that a man named Joshua Jacobs, I think was his last name, was the guy who said, yep, it's possible, you could lose everything that you brought to jail. And isn't it interesting that that's exactly what happened and that several female officers availed themselves of my property, including my pants, including my military funny-looking glasses that were a second pair for me, and she actually wore them in front of me. Isn't that wonderful what Sam did to me? I hated when she would pick me up to take me to the shower. I preferred the fellows who'd give me a little bit of, of an hour and openly never rushed me when it was my chance to do that. They also, the guys took me to the athletic room, which was a marvelous big gymnasium with a basketball court. So I'm in there practicing my old 7th grade jump shots, and I'm all just trying to hit the board and play a little game of horsey for me. But the reality is it got me out of the room. But here's the truth. People have rights in America, and the liars of the force are usually overweight, underpaid, undereducated, under-understanding of people like me and like you, and their funding comes from the American government, which means at the end of the day, they report to the old president that was un they were under when they played their games, and the new president because they're still getting away with what they do.